This serial killer tormented a small town and then mysteriously disappeared. Now he's back. Why? And for who? As a radio host, I've somehow gained the responsibility of 911 dispatcher. And I have to protect the city from this killer. How many people can we save? And can we put a stop to the whistling killer? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Killer Frequency. Can I read that? Eat and expect. Boy, who in the hell was writing these hieroglyphs? I'm about to chat again. Boy, if you don't get your goddamn... Hold on. Who is this? Yeah, you getting big booze, bro. Big booze, bro. What up, y'all? Welcome back. Uh, we're starting here today. I gotta, I gotta really say thank you to y'all. Uh, look, I'm at 521 right now. In the past two days, I got like 40 subs. And I'm really appreciative. But look, my goal for a while, shit, since I came back, I've been back for six months, half a year now. All these are old vids. Yep, my first video back came five months ago. Basically six. I set, set my goal at 500 and here we are, 521. I really just wanted to say thank you. Um, at a thousand subs, I'll do a subscriber special, but I really did just want to show this, show that I'm great, grateful grateful to y'all. And uh, yeah, let me, let me go ahead and make a change. So that's a pretty solid description of me right there. Just a gamer who watches sports. Let's get to 1,000 subs. It's crazy, man. Really appreciative, y'all. Like, for real. I did not think I'd get here. Because every... I, I, I've probably told y'all this like three or four times already. I've started, I've started a YouTube channel freaking three different times. This one... This one I started. This was my second channel that I ever started. Yep. Playing Horizon Zero Dawn. These thumbnails are horrible. Like, look at these and then look at my, my new ones. This one, fire. This one, fire. This one, this, these are good. This one, eh, that one's all right. This one, all right. But these, boy. I was proud of myself on the, excuse me. Anyway, I just really just wanted to say thank you. Um, before we got into the video today, which is Killer Frequency. I know y'all called me out on a couple things, Mortuary Assistant and Parasocial. I do have Parasocial, but I am a cheap son of a bitch. Look, Parasocial right there, ready to go. Was on sale, copped it. It was like $2, so I was like, okay. But I am a cheap son of a bitch, right? So, uh, Mortuary Assistant, which is what I plan on, my the next scary game I planned on playing, not on sale. So am I gonna get it? No, not until it's on sale. It's 25 bucks, bro. I can, I have 25. I got more than 25 bucks. I could easily, but no, I'm cheap waiting for that sale. Cause, cause once the sale hits and I would have bought it full price, I'd, I'd be like, God damn it, I should've just waited, you know? Especially cause who's in a rush to play that anyway? Anyway, back to the internet. We're playing Killer Frequency. I don't know nothing about it, but like, the rating, overwhelmingly positive, and it was on sale. Back to me being like, a cheap dude. Not not Mr. Krabs cheap, but I mean, if I could hit a sale, I'm hitting a sale, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it was overwhelmingly positive. Y'all know on Steam, you see an overwhelmingly positive. Probably a fire-ass game. So I look it up, there's not really that many people that have played it. I got the, the uh, what's it called right here? The damn trailer ready to go, because I don't know nothing about this game. But look, you got Jack, Septicai, Neat Pick. I don't know who that is. Uh, GT Live, don't know, don't know them. Um, but yeah, you got you got a decent amount of people. VidIQ says it's a medium. Competition's medium. I don't know what any of that means. I just downloaded that thing. Anyway, we're here to watch the, the trailer. I know you work at a radio station. I know someone's stalking you. I don't know why I'm, I'm doing the stalker situation. But, uh... You can save people. I don't know how many people you can Maybe save, but there's, there's like at least more than one person that you can save. Forrest, it's the whistling man. What the hell? The whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Went around in a freaky mask. Killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. No reason for it. No motive. Hit the button. We have a caller. Art style looks fire. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Talk to me, Murphy. What's wrong? Oh, the killer got me, man. We've got a plan, but we can't agree on who should do what. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. We'll need someone on the roof. It's going to be a hard climb. Heather's got this. 
Oh, Lord, you gotta make choices. Focus. You got this. Thank you, Forrest. Go right. I'm out. Thank choices you, like Forrest. that? Oh. I mean, it looks fire. You're almost out of time. Just do something. Where do I go? Oh, no, Dad. Please, no. Ah! Killer frequency. That's what we're here for. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a six hour game. So you're probably gonna get like five, five or six episodes out of this. I am also dropping the what's it called? I'm dropping the Borderlands videos to twice a week. Just two, that's all, all we need. And I'm a, uh, cause I am getting burnt out of that game. Which is crazy cause I love it. And uh, well, it's, I've just been playing Borderlands for freaking six months, bro. So could you, could you uh, not expect that? You know what I'm saying? But uh, ooh. open, can I, how do I throw? R to throw, F to drop. Cool controls, cool controls. Put that there, don't need it. Actually, let me take it. It, it's, it could be a weapon. Man, art style's phenomenal. Game looks good. Who is that? Katniss Everdeen? What is the, what's the whistle? What the hell is going on? Okay, gotta take that one. That was a weak ass throw, bro. What the hell? K fam. Open the door. What did it say? Press F to E. E to begin inspecting, hold to move. K fam, co, co. E to exit, co, co. Do I get to go inside or is this not my job, bro? Is it, oh, oh, this ain't my, this ain't my work? Oh, my fault. Thought I was cool, thought we was cool. Press a button, nope. Crouch to, I kind of like C to, C to crouch. There we go, open that back. We stuck. The hell? What, bro? I don't see nothing. Oh, it's that dude. What's up, bro? I ain't scared, so I'm. I'm. I mean, I'm coming, bro. Unless you gotta, my boy. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Like, right, if you're gonna kill me, kill me. Oh my! That was terrible, bro. I shouldn't even got scared of that. Do what you gonna do and keep it moving, bro. Golly. Uh, how did I get scared of the, like, not jump scare? Is this me? Is that a mirror? Or am I looking through a... Oh, that's not a mirror. Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling. Oh, uh, so that was around here. Forrest, is this Should be a joke? Better. No, I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally kind started jams to ease up. Blast processor, you probably next. just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, Stamping four legs, whiskers, Storm tails, Riders? not dogs. I know what a cat is, but I mean, God damn it. There does it is. Ooh, have a cat that's problem it. or something? That's it. Yep. Not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? I'm trying to put the damn. Hold on. You have to do these checks every time. And put it back. Put it back. You have to call put it back. That? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to. Hey, 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 let's rock. Nah, let's do the checks, bro. Let's do the checks. It's All important right, to check fine. your equipment. Let's get through this. I am oh, a maintenance right, man. This I know. Is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for let's once. Let's get a little groove going, y'all. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rinse. Let's start with record Tubular rinse. Oh, Done? lord. Great. Now turn it off. For sure. For sure. For sure. See, I was I was ahead of the game. That was some fire beats, though. I'm All turning right. that back on. Up next, phone line buttons. Your Where captain will be waiting to take no your way. call on line one. Do I aim straight at it? Okay, on line one. All right, Peggy, ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. <sighs> call me Don. You get it? Bang. Yeah. That's a, oh my. It's a riot. That's a real Great. Kobe and right there. Great. And button two works just the same. Kobe. So, let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer Press line? Press four, Peggy. Like I said, Wait, the one? Peggy button. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm. Is there a Peggy mute button? They haven't invented it yet. Now, come on. I don't think they ever the will. The Peggy button is the third one bro, on the phone line. how many times you want me to I press it, bro? It for you. <sighs> press for Peggy. Yep. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey now, run. Line. Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster Yeah, she don't even, uh... That's an easy Her one. mouth ain't even moving. God damn. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Sound blaster? This one. There you go. 
That was a there good show. Go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. There you go. I'm, I'm maxing it out, though. I'm going to keep it a bean. The sliders and move them up and down. Go nuts. I'm maxing all right. them all out, bro. Seems to be all working. Oh, is this one we done? Captain? What the hell is this? Try just <laughs> a sure are. master Coming volume. For landing. Local Watch. time. Yeah, should not encourage you. I yeah, that's master volume. My bad, my bad. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Now, let's get the show started. After Background your introduction, music, yep. our first segment is Guess That Scream. I thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Oh, Reggie's a killer. Okay, Forrest, shut the music Bang, off. Bang, Kobe. I do that all day, bro. All day. Light work, easy work. Okay, Look at me. you're live in three, two. I can't. I can't throw. Nine point sixteen. Twelve o'clock. A.M. G. Midnight. What the hell? Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash. Talking and to the you're mic, bro. To 189.16, The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight oh, on Gallows Creek's on only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special Toby. competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. Bro, this is no actually way. one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works no I'm going to play you a scream, then you call and Ooh, guess no that net. scream. We need you to guess Ooh. why they're screaming. Boinked Did they off. stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? Jeez. That's good. Now, Forrest, Ooh. hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. He's tired. He's tired hey, of it. Which what one? do you mean, play the tape? Master Robbie? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, this you one? get to be Harvest your own Festival? tape guy. How Come do on, I... I gave it to you yesterday. Teddy Gallows Jr.? Forrest, you do have the tape right. I don't know which you one know it is. You we're doing this tonight. Peggy, I'm looking let's at be her. real. Is it Master Robbie? Guess Deadly that Master scream Marshall? is a terrible idea. No, I, I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't this be fun. This is it, ain't it? Harvest, I'm about to put this one in, We're bro. going to need a scream tonight, Forrest. And How you're the one this? at the mic, so. So what you want me to? Okay, bro. I don't. What you want me to yell into the mic, dude? Are you serious? I hate what I've become. Nah, hit her. Hit her with. Are you really? serious, Peggy? You want you want me to scream? You know this show depends on my golden voice, right? Come on, Forrest. Just do it. That's enough dead air already. There it is. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh, God. There it is. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Hi, bro. I can't scream. Listen close. And then call in to... Guess that scream. Falling from a cliff scream. Perturb Yeti. The drowning. Drowning. <laughs> Boy, that's horrible, bro. Nobody falling for that, bro. Everybody know that's some bullshit. Well, folks, there oh, you guess have that it. screams over here. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Kobe. Maze Maze oh my. and one free fried dough. This dude weak as hell. Forrest weak as shit. There it is. Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guest. Now, here's some music while you get Kobe. dialing. This mother... Okay, bro. I'm done. Let's get some music on. Same old shit. Yep. Rock out. Turn me up too. Turn me up too. Turn me up too. Turn me up too. I don't know how to open this. Hold on. Oh, what? Should I introduce a song? Yes. Enjoy this classic by Smooth. It's their hit song, The Word. There it is. Oh, God, Forrest. That's yeah. amazing. I'm a real radio. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. Real radio host. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. How the hell did I get into this mess? Lighten up, Forrest. Oh, put them bad That's boys on. The highlight of my week. Bro, she's bullshit. So I'm new around here then, huh? Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. All right, turn me down. Time to turn the music off. Off? 
I just want to turn down, bro. I answer the phone. What up? What going on? What's popping? Is your motherfucking boy? Welcome to 189.16, the Scream, caller. You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. What up with it, Leslie? You calling the guest that Scream? Slow night? Well, Leslie, I guess it must be a slow night for crime if you've got time to call in. What can we do for you? Slow night? Forrest, I found a body. I need help. Forrest, I recognize your voice. Who the fuck knocking You heard that? I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not going to be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Are you serious? Leslie, I'll level with you. I find this hard to believe, but I'll hear you out. What exactly is going on? Sheriff Matthews is dead. Ooh. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I was I the sheriff to start the game? The department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and... I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and... I really don't want to say what they did to him. Stabbed did him? he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Is there anyone else at the station? Where are the other officers? I don't I don't understand. Where are the other officers? Do they know? Have they secured the scene or, or whatever cops are supposed to do? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied Golly. up, and locked in a Golly. holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God. Wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. <laughs> but Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Oh, okay. Leslie, well, you only got do you two. have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. Oh, I'll have killer's to go there on myself. It, bro. Let them know what's going killer's, on and bring help back. Shutting with down towers but and whatnot. If you leave while what there's the a hell? murderer on the loose, who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to bro, come in. Bro, I'm you. pissed. Are you serious? This is a bad idea. No, I'm sorry, but this is a terrible idea. What on earth made you think to do that? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped oh, for the job. here we go. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation my fault, my fault, my fault. and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews. They Teddy send Gallo from Chicago Chill. to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Who's even well, listening to the radio at 12 o'clock at night? Training right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Nice. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's gotta be another way in. Nah, you can't break down the door, find another way into the cell, find another set of keys. There's gotta be another set of keys somewhere in that office. There we go. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? The desk or Sheriff Matt? Hell yeah. Unless Sheriff the keys that the dude took were Maybe Sheriff, Sheriff Matthew's, Matthew's keys. Had a set of keys on after him Nobby, you know, probably I tied the chick up glance, first though. But I didn't really look up close. One second. See if I fucked up or not. This is the first time. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. What's the music I'm just doing? Turn you over and What's the music oh. doing? 
don't stare at me. What is the music doing? I... Oh, wait. That might be them. Bro. I, 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 th I think I got the cell keys. Go open the Looks cell. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? I mean, I'm solid, but... I can't handle this all night. I think we can handle this. I'm quitting game for him if this is the break. Yep, joke, joke around. I, I swear to God, Peggy, if this is some sort of joke, I'm leaving this town. I've never heard of anything like, like this happening in broadcast. I've never heard about anything like this either. But we're here now, Forrest, and we've just got to see what happens next. Come on, Martinez. Yeah, I think I picked there the right one. There we go. Forrest seemed like a crybaby type, you, you know what I'm saying? Office chair. I'll head to my car in a minute. I'm is back. Dead Deputy Martinez she... is still out cold. Better get them uh, I'm smelling salts. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. You're leaving? We're on our own? Okay. Well, it's the right thing to That's do. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risk right now. Time Thank to start. It's time to start playing the role. You and Peggy just work together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as. I oh yeah, she's cooked, for sure. What? My car! My car is on I fire! I thought that was a shot straight to the head, fire? bro. How the hell? I called the fire department. Did it just go up How and smoke? Down? What happened? Wait. What? No. No way. <laughs> yeah. This can't. Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? What's that noise? It sounds like whistling. Whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? With that mask, how the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. <laughs> I gotta the stop, whistling bro. man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead! He's... What the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? You're really putting it he's together, Peggy. You're really putting it together. Lock Leslie, the doors. Leslie, stay inside and lock the doors. Right. Shit, we need a new plan. My car is torched. We need to think! Run for it, hide in the... No, 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 you gotta go. Take a police cruiser. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. And me busting on the door or what? Has any... uh, just reach into your pocket there, definitely. You got a gun? And... What is that? Yes, got him. Keys for squad part three. Don't leave Martinez, though. I saw that or... parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But... Wait... How am I supposed to get us to the car? That's the a phenomenal man question. Is right there. Great question. Take care of Matthew's gun. Matthew's gun out of out of ammo. Take Martinez's Martinez Martinez gun. Surely carries a gun, right? Could you use that? See, because all the casings, bro. Y'all gotta put it together. I what? guess the whistling man must have done something with it. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. Yep. See, he told I... you. Shit. It's empty. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. Why the damn call lady can't make decisions of her own? There must be a weapon lock up in the station, right? Could you grab something from there? I saw it earlier, but as you might have guessed, it was yeah, locked. Yeah, you got the keys off of... But maybe one of these keys yeah, I got earlier will help. Let me see. No. No. Yeah, she's done for. No. Uh, shit. None of the keys work. Or are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. Bro, you didn't check that earlier? When I told you to grab her gun? All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. He's got a mask on. What should I take? Got to do the taser, right? Because the pepper spray, he's got a mask on. It might have eye covers. You never know. Like some glasses type situation. I feel like that's the dumbest decision. He got some thick ass clothes on too though for the taser. Maybe the baton might be the choice. 
And he had them, them rubber gloves. Yep, I gotta go baton. Time. You can always trust a beating stick. Yeah, the most classic it. weapon, bro. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then... Wait. Do you hear that? I don't. No, I, I can't hear anything. Exactly, it's gone quiet. No more knocking. Can you still see the whistling, man? Just be careful. Uh, no. Nah, nah, nah. Ask her a serious question. You yeah. said you could see the whistling man earlier. Can you Is he still, still there? see him? Let me take a look. Nah, that motherfucker outside my window now. No. I don't see him anywhere. But I can see the car. Squad car three. It's right there. Okay. Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. You better pick her up. Oh, Just she kind of swole. Me. Oh, nah. She's, yep. a, she's awake. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? So, here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Good luck, Leslie. Well, good luck. This is the part where the killer comes out of nowhere, isn't it? Oh, for sure. <sighs> she did. You know, I've got to say... This really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Not what I expected well, when I started this game. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. All right, well, uh, let's go ahead and play this oh, commercial. I think uh, we've got Leslie back on the line. Oh, for sure, for I'm sure, for sure. Through. Go ahead. Hello? Forrest? Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. 10-4. That's a big 10-4 there, good buddy. I, I'm guessing you made it to the car then? Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. <laughs> but yes, we made it to Sorry the car. The Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for yeah, him. Yeah, take off. So I'm going to get us How have you not left yet? Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get away from her! Leslie, what's happening? The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Just rip her throat out? Oh, there go a knife. Leslie, drive! Martinez! God damn it! Are you alright? Do you think you got away? Forrest. He slit her throat. Damn, if I had the taser. You need to get to Henderson, Leslie. Taser we can't was let this option. happen again. Because what, right. what, I, what I didn't think about, you hit him with the club, he takes the club. I did not think about that, bro. It had taser had to be the right answer answer. God We've damn. all got our part to play now. How long do you think it's gonna take to get help? Gallows Creek is a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. God damn. Slightly less if I put this, my foot down. This thing ain't ain't nowhere. It's in the middle of nowhere. We'll do our best. You better floor it. That long? Two to three hours each way? We have to fill in for that long. That's the way it is. I'll be back as fast back as I can. No net. Hold on. Check this one. Right. Kobe. Both I oh my god. That was horrible. God damn it. Jeez. What am I doing? Here it is. Oh, oh. Oh. Can't throw it. I'll be out of range soon. For sure. I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Yeah, we got like a whole situation. Try not to crash. Take it easy. Try not to crash. Hey, step on that gas, yeah. too. We need you back in one piece. Good luck, Leslie. Ooh, off the board. <sighs> Bank is open. Folks, you heard it here. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Nobody's listening, bro. Please make sure it's to stay midnight. safe. Everybody is asleep. And, Leslie, and if they not, bro, they watching Netflix. Like, nobody got the radio on, bro. Is this 1990? Then maybe possibly, maybe possibly, 1980, even higher luck. But check me out. This 2023, ain't nobody. We're counting on you. <laughs> well, you speak your dude. We're going to get back to the old. show, me. This whole shit look old. If you know what? You it have might be the 1980s. On your mind or have any information about this whistling man character. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get a look at this. Sorry. Sorry, brother. Where's the uh, police station at? Because we're right here. Fire station. Then give us a call. We'll talk here 
on 189.16, The Scream. For now, here's another hit record for you all to no enjoy. No sheriff office, no police station, no nothing. Oh, let me get y'all some hits. My fault, my fault. Y'all tired of that one? Y'all want to do that one no more? Let me, let me uh, put it down real quick. Right there. Yep. Let's do 198 Blast Processor. Okay. All right. Better be some jams. Announce it. Time to go on the journey that is Blast Processor with their hit song, 1980X. Oh, this is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. You're saying, she bro. Really like... It's going to take her four hours. This guy's going to kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, Chalupa I know, Cabras? I just, Jeez. Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling, and killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. Damn, no he did a killer no job. Motive. He just did. Bruh, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, what happened to him? Yeah, let's, let's see what okay. happened to him. What happened to him? Well, police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was, well, it was on this night, actually. What? The police cornered him, and he jumped into the river. Just, His body okay. was never found. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is, he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. Well, he's All back. Right, that's the story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. Guess we'll, guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out what we're dealing with, whether we like it or not. I guess so. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I guess. What at kind least of I guess. figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight? Could be around 35? 35 people? 35. Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people. At best. You a fool. You really thought 3,500, bro? Stop it. 35. That's... Nothing. Nada. That's 35 people you're talking about, Forrest. They're not nothing. They're people. People who like tuning into our show. Frequency Fest. <sighs> And what's the population of Gallows Creek? I know meat I know growth. Exactly. I know meat growth a go hard. Over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before? You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah. <laughs> before that. Around five for most shows on the low end. Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15. Easy. 5,000 on the low end? We could only dream of that. Five million. Jeez. Millions? Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. Jeez. I guess. Yeah. He said 10 I to 15 million? I guess we're going to learn million? a lot about perspective tonight, what huh? What the hell? Oh, we have a call coming in. Take it when you're ready. That's like, goddamn. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Bro, that's, that's legit me versus uh, Jacksepticeye in this video, bro. I'm going to get like 15 views. He probably got Hello caller, you're live on 189.16. 1.5 million, the 2 million views, 10 million Is views. Is everything uh, all right? I'm not a chatter. <sighs> Boy, if you don't get your goddamn... Hold on. Who is this? Are yeah, you, you getting uh, big booze, bro. Big booze, bro. <laughs> Tired, boring, same old shit. Get a new joke. Get a new joke. This, this joke is terrible. Throw the ball. Okay. What's your name and why are you calling in? You know my name. Oh, shit. I've come back from the dead to kill again. No one's safe. Bro. How do I hang up on this fool right there? Do you have any requests? <laughs> Do you accept requests? I've got, got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. I got David Scapo if you want some David Scapo. must make a sacrifice to us. A sacrifice? To us. I, I mean, oh, shoot. me. It's a joke. She's dusted pretzels. I mean, I want cheese dusted 
pretzels. Yeah, it's a joke. I'll cut your face off. That, that's a good one, bro. That was a good one. That was God a good damn one. kids. I'm cutting them off. Good. Yeah, cut them off. Not yet. I want to deal Not with yet. them. Not yet. I want to deal I'm with them. I'm having fun. Uh, Hurry we up, Danny. What's this one? 189.16. Okay, so cheese dusted pretzels and a mega gulp behind the gas station. You got it, whistling man. What? Morris Nash. Needless to say, I won't actually be going out to the gas station to buy anything for yeah, these kids. Them, let them and none of you should be going troll. out tonight either. We've got an actual killer out there. There we go. Forrest anyway, handled it like a pro. This next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside. Oh, I got it lined up. It's a Windows David line. Scapo's Moonlight. Tear me up. It's oh, wait. Got to announce Scopo the song and then turn it up, right? Moonlight. I'm, a, I'm a real, I'm a real hey, radio man. What the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Ugh, kids around here. People pranks pretending to be. By pretending to be this whistling man character? Think it's here funny. it is, bang. Got him. It's Don't not, worry. It's not funny at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... Hey, hey. I like real. these things. <sighs> Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. All right. Damn. Can I, can I even pick up my cups and put them in the trash? Gee, golly. Is this my first day on the job? Nah, it can't be, right? What are we? When you're ready, oh, my fault, shut my the fault, music my fault, off. My fault, my fault. What going on? Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? Here we go. My name Here we go. Is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. Like right now? Uh, cops aren't coming. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? Oh my God! Listen, you've got to help me then. You can't I don't just tell her. Jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the Whistling Man is after me, knife in hand. Oh God! It's actually happening. A jazz run, bro. Nah, nah, get Where serious, bro. Get Did serious. You skate <laughs> do no dumb shit. Oh, she I gonna did, die. Baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. But I dropped my keys somewhere along the way. Oh, God. I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Can you go back and find your keys? Sound like you lost them. I think you'd be fine. Is there anywhere else you can go? Yeah, now nah, he got the keys. Go. He picked them yeah, keys I mean, up. Then them, them gone. Nearby. You gotta go somewhere oh, I'm else. I'm not going back out there. I. Boy, she's done for. You hear Katniss Everdeen oh, coming? It's oh, over. Oh, he's back. She got the she got the bow drawn, bro. It's, it's done for. And he busting through that window. But I gotta start this engine without the keys. To and touch the red and the black. To help me. Wait, wait, wait. I don't. This a Kia. We could get the Kia boys out there. Don't, don't hang up. You Get the music on. Get the music on. 189.16, the screen. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host, mechanic and savior. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. Turn it up. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something. Tamora Tim Twins? Jeez. You know not Triple TM? Really? They look the same though. Twins. I know, but they're not, not even related. They look it's weird. I asked them about okay. it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Ugh. Oh, I gotta leave? Oh, I'm dead. And I don't plan on plan on coming back. I'm gonna keep it a bean. Yeah, nah, leave the door open. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, Y'all got weapons? Baton? What is this thing? A napkin holder? Is them flies? 
Oh, y'all nasty in here. Y'all, y'all nasty in here. Oh, yeah, for sure he's coming in here. What time is it? Still 12? 12.30, 12.30. Women's. I ain't a woman's. No mirrors. I was wondering if y'all had mirrors. Also women. So many locked doors, so few keys. Uh, where am I supposed to be going anyway? What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, tools. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep that. For sure. Can I hold two of them? What happens if I throw it? Aw, oh, bro, that is not a strong enough throw. Okay, well, Forrest, you really need to hit the gym. I don't give a shit if you was getting five million, whatever. Five million view. Ooh, what's this? I can play this. What the heck is this? Can I read that? E to inspect. Boy, who in the hell was writing these hieroglyphs? Put it down. Take the tape. Oh, here we go. This is this. This Has is what I important. need. Yeah, this is what I need for sure. Twins, I've borrowed your car. Theft magazine. Those huevos rancheros aren't sitting right. Gonna need something to read. Pray for me. Oh, he's in. Took them bad boys to the restroom. Cool. Uh, is there anything on the back? Nope. Putting that back. Give my tape back. Appreciate it. Car theft magazine. Oh, this is the chick's restroom. Gallows Creek High wins a big game, 28 to 20. Good for y'all. Why is it? Why is the light off in here? What's going on with that? Scream. I just gotta check everything out. You know what I'm saying? I ain't. I gotta know what I'm getting into. Got the light on in here. Oh, that fool brought a drink in here too. You nasty as hell, boy. I know this restroom sticky. The floor. Hell nah. Anyway, uh, chick, what am I supposed to be doing? Okay, well, we're gonna pause the music because I just found this tape and I want to put it in. So. Hey, hey, hey. Great party, man. <laughs> Thanks. Can I grab another beer? Hey, sure thing. Let me grab you oh, one out of the I... fridge. Oh, no. Out of beer. What am I gonna do? The party is going to be over. <laughs> Not a grilling spree. Grill Reaper. Three six pack of beer if Gallus. What in the this hell is this? Say what? That's right. Order a meal deal from us and you'll get a free six pack of beer. Bro, if what? Wins. A free six pack? Righteous. You heard me. Six beers if Gallus High wins. Sounds like you've already had enough beers. <laughs> I hope we <laughs> murder them. <laughs> Me too, Billy. Me too. Hey, Grill Reaper might be Come a goddamn whisper. Call 555 749 8335. We've got barbecue you'll die for. You find anything? I found a note. Good. And did you find anything else? Well, you heard that shit that I just listened to. Remind me what I'm looking for? Not yet, I'm gonna keep looking. Remind me what I'm looking for again. Also, they the got a The is trying soda. to start a car without the keys. Ah, uh, yeah, and mm. we have a car show, right? Timberline Twins Talk Motors, yeah. I'm gonna search again. Thanks, Peggy. Mmm, trying to start it without the keys. So I need one of these magazines. Right, right, right. <laughs> nice. I'm not getting in there tonight. Killer is, though. Killer gonna kill us, goddamn. It's right here. Found that note, and this is what I'm looking for. This looks useful. Yep. Fix all cars. 1979 to 2000. Okay, so, 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 the setting is old. Makes a lot of sense. It has to be. It, ha it always had to be. You find anything? Yeah. Can I, close that I found door? a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. Can I. Hold on, let me, there we go. There we go, line one. You back, Sarah? You dead? We're back with 189.16. What the fuck the was scream. that? How are you holding up, Sandra? The creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got let me read this, because it might be important. Use the screwdriver as a key. If, if that fails, remove the Tools. steering column, right. check the serial number, then sh moving. strip How and twist the following wires be? together. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist it clockwise. 
Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Bro, if that turns the light on, turns the car light on, but not the, not the actual car, I'm going to be pissed. Here goes, baby. I, I, oh, screwdriver's too fat to fit. What next? Okay, take off the thing. Unscrew the steering column. Hit the steering wheel oh. with the hammer, bro. That would have honked the horn. Just turn. Just turn. One, okay. two, one, two. You got it, Sandra. Oh, you know Sandra wearing it. The, the, uh, what's okay. that shit called? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, she wearing one of these joints for real. This right here. That's what I had in mind. Looking like JoJo Siwa. So, do your jazz breathing, don't panic. You're doing, You're doing great. great. Okay, I can do this. There's a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and a brown wire. Oh shit, dude, what are these fucking tips right here? If there's a four before a three and no seven in the number, red and blue. If there's a six anywhere and doesn't start with the five, green and brown. If there's a zero at the end and three doesn't come before six, red and yellow. Jeez, uh, what's the serial number? What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is 576-894-320. Five, seven, eight, nine, I need that. E oh, there it is. Nice. Five seven six. There's before a uh, four before a three. Yeah, there is, and no seven in the number. There is a seven, so it's got to be this one, right? There's a zero at the end, and and the three doesn't come before six. Comes after, so it's got to be red and yellow. Strip and twist together the red and yellow. Wires. Said, hey man, it took me some right. time. Got an achievement we for that. Uh, strip, strip the purple, but do not touch it. Nope, nope. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Strip the purple wire Boy, see, and brush shoot a, against the twisted wires. Shoot a die. Okay, okay. We strip and we brush and... <gasps> <gasps> and it did it, Peggy. We did it. Fantastic work, baby. Get the fuck out of there. Anytime now. You come down to the jazz studio. You get in for free! Get out of there now. You just keep driving now, okay? And get home safe. Get home safe, Sandra. Will do, babies. Fucking killed it. Let's go. Put that up there. Might need a later. Oh, Biff fell. Hold on. We did it, Forrest! We sure did! Here comes another hit track that we're ja excited to share with you. She's, she's and remember, jazzed. if you're also having right car there, trouble, uh, then tune in to this one. Timberline this right Twins here. Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday hey, to Friday at 5. you shit while I'm holding it down. Take it away, Forrest. You ain't got to plug they shit while I'm holding it down, bro. Real Listen radio, man. To this next track from Late Night Lurkers, if you dare. Turn it up. I still can't believe Oh, I killed it. Right? Like Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about? What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. You keep talking what? shit about this place, bro. Miserable? Peggy loves this place, dog. You hoeing. Peggy, be honest. It's a dump. There's nothing to do here. Hell, I'm almost ready to thank this whistling guy for at least making things interesting. Well, I like it here. People are polite and, uh... Ass backwards. Don't be awful, Forrest. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. I guess some folks have been yeah, okay. Say something. Say You're something, nice guy. Lee, dude. After a while. Not terrible after a while? High praise coming from Forrest Nash. 
You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for I think you're swell. <laughs> anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night. And Bucky. that Leslie gets back oh, soon. I missed that one. Me too. Well, one, he ain't done Can for the night. And two. At least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Bucket. Ooh, no net. 12.42 exactly? Like, what's up at that time? It's a little weird. Caller on line one. All right, let's get it. Yeah, uh, hold on. This is how you do it right here. Fade it out. Fade it out. Fade it out. Nice. And then you hit stop. Oh, my goodness. I'm a real. We have a call waiting. Yeah, yeah I Evening know. Caller. Thanks. This God is damn. Forrest Nash. Let me do my job. Host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Hello. Oh, can I uh, get a cheer for my boy? <laughs> Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Is there no clap track? What have you got Where's to say claps? about what's happening? Oh, I'm so sad. I didn't say nothing about... Oh, no, no, the lady on the radio uh, did. I was about to say, boy. To lady came on the radio and said that. I saw her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Just terrible. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to thank you for doing your best. So, I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponty's Pizza. Just a little something to look forward to when all this blows over. Wow. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. That's really good of you, but you really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. <laughs> hey, bro, Forrest is a hater. You like it? Well, you're in luck, because we're always running great deals that'll have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, Golly. the pizza we have is to die for. Oh, 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 oh no, oh, no, no, no. Poor choice of words tonight. Yeah, it didn't come out great. Yeah, that didn't come out great. I'm sorry, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else off coming on mm. down to Pony's Pizza. We've got oh my a great God, where is Ponty's Pizza at? Our famous Cut him off. Pizza deal. Wait a minute. Down there? Come on down to Ponty's Pizza God this damn. Weekend. So I gotta ride got all the way down Mason. God damn it, you're down just bond. calling in to advertise your shop. All Hopefully. the way down Thornside. Hey, Turn on him. left on Jones. Done. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? Yes, bro. Give me one second. Sure. All done. Done. Oh my Teddy God, I'm, I'm cold. Is a family man, a devout Christian, and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creek. Like <laughs> his father serious. and all his <laughs> fathers before Commercial. him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, improve infrastructure, and make Gallows Creek a good place to raise a family. Unlike current mayor, Linda Cartwright, Teddy Gallows Jr. lives in Gallows Creek. He's our neighbor, and he stands with our neighbors. Like Sheriff Matthews, who, after years of keeping the peace, Mayor Cartwright Golly. is trying to force into early retirement. Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a job. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? Help Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good American town. Help him become mayor. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr. And, and I, I approve, approve this, this message. message. God, what a jackass. Hey, could have been the... Uh, 100% grade A asshole. Linda Cartwright isn't super herself. It could have been Linda Cartwright not. that killed yeah, him. Though. We don't have any you more of saying? those ads to air tonight, do we? No, just the one. Good. I have to ask, though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Uh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, uh, of course God. he's one of those guys. Freaking yep, baseball he dude. played lots of sports back in the day, and he never lets anyone forget it. Right. Let's just 
get back to the show? That's well, a... folks, hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. That ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. Boy. You mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. Caller? Is it Welcome Teddy Gallows? Welcome to the Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporters. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and... Wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. Yeah, bro. What? It's God, me for tonight. Another one? Leslie left me in charge. I am 911. I am 911. At least for tonight, anyway. Damn it, son. I don't care who you are. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Bro. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. No, bro. We're, on, we're live on air, bro. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. There's obviously a lot more going on. I have to turn the damn radio on. Yeah. You know what's going on. There's a lot on. happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling Bro, man. Maurice, you and really don't know teens. shit. They get worse every year. Nah, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. Maurice. You don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. Oh, Maurice. Every year this happens. I tried to pick they the one that would funny. try and convince him. Deal, Doesn't seem man. like it con convinced him at they all. They didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Bro, we're living through it anyway, right I know now, fact, Maurice. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. Well, that's good, at least. Watch them on any TV set here. Boy. And there's a set in the boardroom. Can you get out of there? Think you can take the whistling man? No. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how Boy. I'm going to do it. He busting down the that doors? That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinet. Why is he going into filing cabinets? Blocking the stairs. Oh, I'm guessing Lord. the stairs are the only way out. That's right. No type of elevators in this old town. And it would take town. me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? How they have a bunch that? of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions. Ooh. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. That's smart. That's smart. And buy Maurice time. Buy Maurice time. That could work. Exactly. Let's get it. Let's get it's it. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, she's Sorry, going Maurice. to, though. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out. <sighs> you realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? For that to be successful, you're going to need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. He hung up? Do I need to find a, that list and... <laughs> the hell's going on? Y'all hear that? Okay. Yeah. You don't think the killer got him, do you? No, not Mr. yet. Mr. Russell. Stun oh, okay. Oh, he's Freak back. Oh, he did fax some shit. I knew it. Where's the fax machine at? What? Where's the fax machine at? Is it in here? Go, Forrest. Yeah, the fax mother... machine's in the office Bro. on the other side of the hall. Okay, Thanks, dude. Peggy. Be right back. 
God damn. He ain't in here, is he? Okay. Go to the, the office, office down on the here. other end of the and, hall. Like, what's the red light? Grab Don't the like facts that. from the machine. Easy. Fax machine right here. This must Dang, be it. Got it. And we need the. I mean, make a copy, I guess. Why not? Shit. Never know. You might need, might need two of them joints. Can't close it. Cool, cool, right? Well, we got the map. I'm going to uh, take this one over there. We need the numbers? Oh, wait. Do they have the... Oh, nice. They got the numbers already. He's in the... So, the stairs are right there. He said he's in the... What's it called? Hey, did you get the this box? damn door. Yeah. For sure. Sure did. Sure did. You can answer, bro. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Mr. Russell? He's in the boardroom. Uh, still with us? I oh, am. there it is. Get my facts. Bro, I call four. He's dead, brother. Yeah, I got it right here. Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage God damn, that. Maurice. Okay, folks. We're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help oh, well, him I'm tired. avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. Right. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. And now he's in the office next door. Office space, it's no fun. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Call again. Shit. We want to draw the killer three. away by dialing an extension number. Got to be three, because like, he goes there and then checks out the safe. secret archives. So, what extension and should I call? Three. Call the editor's office. Right, right. Like this, this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking. Right. Let's get a pause. If he's in this office space, I'm pointing. You can't see where I'm pointing. If he's in the office space, right? Maurice is in the boardroom right next to him, right? He's checked out the kitchen and the archives already, so he's not really going to be interested in going back. The only real option is the editor's office. You call four, you hone Maurice. You want him to die. He goes to the editor's office. He checks out the secret archives, and we're good. It's got to be three. Editor's office. Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Uh, go to the kitchen. Go to the archives. Fuck no. I mean, you could go to the arc. Either the kitchen or the archives. I guess it don't. Fuck. So if he's going to the editor's office, he runs his happy ass to the archives because it's closer not nah, to the kitchen. Go to the kitchen. You can get a weapon in the kitchen. For sure. And he was... Yeah, go to the kitchen. Go to the kitchen. You can get a knife in the kitchen. You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah. That makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Not bad, Nash. Did you I'm call ready him, to Marty? place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have Marty much Russell. choice, do I? Make the call. For sure. Yes, for sure. sir. Calling now. Oh, I don't get to talk. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. Boy, good plan, Peggy. It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Ah, uh, don't mention it. Did you take it. your ass to the kitchen, Coast Maurice? Go to the kitchen right I'm now. Shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then Ooh, I forgot all about home. that, bro. I'll call when I get there. Do your thing, Playboy. Do you think he'll make it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. But now what do we do? We got to find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is going to buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We got to think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh! Calling coming. Uh-oh. You ready? Uh-oh. Is it the whistling man? Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? Nope. I am. Oh, what? I don't think he saw me. Definitely thought it was a whistling man. I gotta give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. For sure. Uh, right, let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, yep. which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. I, I can move the furniture out of the way, but not quickly or quietly. Could you lock him in a room, maybe play dead? Can you fight him? Lock him in a room, maybe. Could you lock him in a room? 
That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulation say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait, no. Yeah, block no, no, it just no, like you blocked the stairs. The secret archive through my office. Yeah. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie no would phone love in that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Now is not the time, Peggy. Peggy, I don't think now is the time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids, What's up? We're in the big time now. I've got it all figured Dang, out. Kobe. The secret archive. There's no what lock the on the inside of that room. Only the outside. Bang. Oh he can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in... We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. Yeah, Maurice So should I call die. the secret Ain't archive no then? Ain't no phone can't. in there. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Is there a TV in there? Use yourself as bait? Hell nah, that fool's getting caught. You hear how old he is? That fool can't run. Use a radio, is there a TV in there? Use a radio. Maybe we could use a radio. Stick the There's radio no in radio there. radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns uh, on. Ah, yeah. Is this still in the office? That might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? It should be. It's what he calls his work radio. It should be in the archives, actually. I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. He needs to go to the boardroom now, though. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. See, but once he's in We're the... We're gonna save him, Forrest. Heck, if this works, we might even save the whole town. See, nah, but look, once he goes to the office, or the boardroom, he'll see that monitor, maybe be able to turn it back on and see exactly where Maurice is at. You know what I'm saying? So if we send him to the boardroom, that might not be the answer. We, we might need to send him back to the archives. So we're not going in there again. We're close. Let's make it happen, Peggy. How can we fail? I mean, it's a plan with steps. Get the radio, plan it in the secret archives, lure the killer, and... Oh! Call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Nash, hello? Nash, are you there? I'm here. Is everything okay? I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. Well, good it's shit. all coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Bro, no. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew Boy. that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. Imagine I missed that, right, Peggy? Got me scratching my head, too. The radio works! Turn it off. If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Uh, he's earned it. Let's Boy. do it for Hopkins, Forrest. That's a good point. We get we just gotta go radio but silent. Wait, we're the radio. We can just be quiet until you're ready. Eh, if you can do that, then Yeah. Sure, yeah, bro. What the hell? You just gotta stay quiet. 16. I know that's your station number. But a good editor always double checks. Can you confirm that? 18916, that's correct. You got it. 189.16. Good. I've got the radio on silent. Boy, imagine we fucking hit the button. It's too now, loud. I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Send him to the archives. Where should we send the killer? Gotta be the archives, right? We already talked about this. He goes to the boardroom. He goes to the boardroom, he'll find that computer. Find the facts, find all that. It's gotta call be the, the archives. archives. It's gotta the be the archives. Zero one. I'm in... What? 
I thought he was in the kitchen. He went into the... The archives! Keep your head on, man! Or he's gonna cut off mine! Go to the kitchen. Jesus Christ. My bad, Maurice. Call the kitchen. The extension my is bad, zero, bro. too. My bad, that my bad. That could work. The kitchen is far away from the editor's office, but the killer searched it before. Are you sure? Let him have a think again. Let me have a think again. No, no, no. Yeah, do it. Call do the it, kitchen. Do it, do it. The extension is zero two. Cause that man. could work. The kitchen is far away from the editor's office, but the killer searched it before. Are you sure? It's got to be, bro. Right? It's got to be, cause he goes to the archives. We're fucked. I'm sure. Or to the boardroom. We're fucked. Okay, calling the kitchen now. Right. from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Boy, he's Any in idea the fucking what you'll archives. Jeez, in? man. I'll give fake advice. I'll impersonate Mr. Resser. I'll call the killer a jackass. No, we do not want to piss him off. I'm going to do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. Do not want to piss him Mr. off and draw him over here, bro. What the I hell? I think I gave that mask freak to slip. What a great plan this is, Pearl! Uh, I'll give you an A for effort. You might get an A+. Ooh, plus. call coming in. Here we go. It's the murder. Oh, yes. I set the radio in the... Oh. He'd already searched. Son of a... Fuck! Should have sent him to the boardroom. He's... Should have sent him to the boardroom. God damn it, man. Gone. <sighs> Let's put on a song. Give us some time to recover. I think that would be for the best, Peggy. Next time, guys. Oh, my God. I, I kind of want to restart. Because you could... <sighs> you could save that lady. Or Martinez if you'd have got the taser. You would have saved Maurice if freaking sent him to the boardroom. God damn it. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. Killer Frequency. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you did. Don't if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, see you next time, all right? Peace out. Oh, wait. Now we're going to have the horror games playlist there. We're going to have a, I don't know, Borderlands 3 over here or something. Anyway, that's it. Damn it. Thought I was doing the right thing. Nope, I'm an idiot. Okay, see ya.